Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Wars Empire at War. But we're not exactly playing Empire at War. We're not exactly playing Forces of Corruption. We are playing Star Wars Thrawn's Revenge. Now I have played a little bit of this and I must say this is a beautiful game. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's coming from me. I don't say that that often. You won't be hearing me say that that often. So, uh, yeah, I, I have played a little bit into because I thought my recording system would work, but really it didn't. And so, uh, that's a big mistake on my part, and I apologize for that. Now, we're going to play single player Galactic Conquest. Now, I. I have said that I have a uh, new computer with an awesome hard drive. Well, hard drive and graphics card and all that fancy, fancy stuff. And uh, for some reason, I cannot play Sun Tzu's favorite map, The Art of War. We have Fractured Empire with 44 planets. We have Hunt for Singe with 28 planets. We have Thrawn Campaign. 44 planets, Shadow Hand, 35 planets, Reunification, 40 planets, Kamas Crisis with 53 planets, Art of War Light, which is Sun Tzu's second favorite map, 65 planets, and Art of War, which is handpicked by Sun Tzu himself, and it has 103 planets. And there's even a warning sign, meant for high-end computers, otherwise expect lag. And there's that beautiful, beautiful Star Wars intro music. I can't remember it off the top of my head, shame on me, or whatever. And we're gonna go into Art of War Light. Now, this takes place during the Thrawn campaign, so that means we have the New Republic as the Rebels, the Imperial Remnant as the Empire, and the Empire of the Hand, which is basically the, uh, Chiss. The, uh, Chiss side, so we're, we're gonna be using Empire of the Hand for the most part, and start game. Now, I would go into Art of War, but, uh, there's 103 plans, and that'll take up, I don't even know how many episodes, so 65 is a bit more bearable, and I also got some lag. I can't play on maximum settings, which is really disappointing. However, it's probably because I have a 32-bit hard drive and not a 64-bit. However, I do also have a 64-bit hard drive. Well, a hard drive with 64-bit version of Windows on it. However, I learned that Windows 64-bit does not... or mods do not work when you have a 64-bit uh, version of Windows Vista or or uh, Windows 7 on on that. So here we have the galaxy completely redesigned, different hues, a little bit more reddish, and we are playing as the Empire of the Hand. As I said, they are also based around the uh, Chiss technology, which most of it can be fan on possibly oh yeah we also have uh Nuru on and so we're going to build a uh, shipyard there right away and there are just major changes all over the uh, the gameplay is different completely different from anything i've ever played even now here we have uh mr thron i believe no, that's Commander Stent, my bad. Everyone has new icons. We have a Stormtrooper here. He is a uh, squad, actually. Although he just shows Grappler for some reason. I don't know why, but... Oh, let's just go with it. Now, uh, we have uh, Admiral Sal Saif Siath using the uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn from the vanilla game. They're using his sprite. I'm gonna build some, uh, hey, what's this? Oh, we have Kirov tank, sounds Russian, rapid fire tank. 
Small, lightly armed tank capable of eliminating virtually any enemy infantry as well as enemy light tanks. That's cool. We also have flame tanks. Small fire shooting tank designed by the Empire of the Hand primarily to control uh, combat enemy infantry and unruly populaces. Although it shows that it's strong against ATATs and apparently 2M tanks. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But one thing that I learned is that the AI are extremely aggressive. I have no idea what the hell I'm building. I just need more ships. Uh, it seems to be a Decimator Corvette anti-ship. Warlord Frigate, which is a, fr well, a frigate. No, I know. It's a Warlord Gunship, which is a frigate. My bad. We're also going to be using some heroes. Oh, hey. We have the Chaff Frigate. Seems valuable. And the Kiarik Cruiser. I'm not sure how to pronounce uh, Chiss stuff, so... I'm probably going to butcher everything. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, we have Thrawn on the ground. He is a fleet commander. And he is using his trademark, I'm looking over you, sprite. His little intimidating thing. Ah, uh, here we have uh, the kill feed. I just noticed that Singe has been killed over my Kier. That's a bit of a shame, really. Because uh, if you lose a hero in this game, if the engines get destroyed and you retreat, you lose that hero for good. There is no getting him back. And that is honorable, I suppose. Or makes sense, because an honorable captain would f uh, stay on his ship during and after it blows up. So... Still need some more money. Building under construction. I also need to reinforce my uh, ground uh, garrisons because, as I said, the AI are extremely aggressive. And there's also multiple factions. We have the Singe Empire. We have the New Republic. We have the Imperial Remnant. I don't even know what. Now, the Singe Empire... They're not made up, I know that. Uh, it's led by, obviously, a man named Singe. Uh, Z... Uh, I don't know how to spell his name. I know. Shame on me, but... Uh, he is a uh, warlord during the time that the uh, Empire fractured, and he tried to seize control over it. Obviously, without success. Because we all know that Thrawn's gonna win. And we also have some... Let's go over the heroes some more. We have Vos Parak, who is an admiral. And, uh... He is a, uh... Well, he's an admiral, so I guess he's in a starship. And we have Dagon Nuriz, a fleet commander. Also possibly in a very big ship. Move these guys up. And we have Admiral, uh, Commander Stent. I'm sorry. He is a Chiss. And also in a starship, probably. I don't know what they look like, so don't ask me. We'll find out soon enough. And we also have this uh, Avatar from Avatar looking guy. Uh, Xiao, who's a commando. General Xiao is a commander of the Empire of the Hand Special Operations. He gives a power, health, and speed boost to all commandos under his command and comes with two other commandos with his company. And we also have the Fell family with us today. We have Sutner Fell and we have a son, Jagged Fell. Now this takes place, or this mod takes place again uh, before uh, the Fells defected to the uh, to the New Republic. So we, we get to use them, and they're obviously in uh, fighters, because they are absolute badasses at it. Now, one thing you may or may not have noticed is the planets actually have breathing room. There are planets very spread out, and there's planets I haven't even heard of. We have 
uh, Neruyan up here instead of all the way in the corner like an absolute corruption. We have... Let's see, we have Fondor down here instead of up on the right-hand corner. We have Duro about in the same place. We have Bothawui out in the outer rim. We have Kuat up north a bit more. We have Ord Mantel. We have all these planets and it's gonna be a blast. Uh, I should probably uh, buy some stuff. Oh yeah, so about the combat. There are no level like five or six or so space stations. We have heavy vehicle or heavy frigate shipyards. We have light frigate shipyards. We even have a capital shipyard, which is what I'm going to build right now. Pretty sure Uruion can't build one, as far as I know. Hmm. What a shame. You are going to build a chaff frigate, though. And, you know, the, uh... The, the way you defend yourselves in this game, I haven't quite figured out yet. However, I will eventually. After all, it, it's me, you know? It's me. Uh, it seems that our primary fighter that we're going to use are the claw crafts. Typical claw craft. And we also have the Curus Interceptor Squadron, which is probably a step above. We also have, what are these? We have Clawcrafts, we have Scarus Squadron Fighters, I guess they're a step below the Clawcraft, and the Furion Squadron. And, I don't, I don't under, I don't understand really. Where, where are the bombers? Do I get any bombers at all? Hmm. I'll have to figure that out later. Oh, here it is. The Sia Bomber. No, oh, yeah. It's a class as a fighter. It's weird. The planet Sia's earliest contribution to the Empire of the Hand, the Sia Oh, wow, I just realized it comes from planet Sia. And that's definitely how you pronounce it. Oh, what's this? Flan Flanex destroyer, and we can also build the Ascendancy Star Destroyer. I read that as Academy Star Destroyer. Hmm. That's interesting. About. I, I will read the descriptions of the units over time, don't worry about it. I just... I'm, I'm really under pressure getting my uh, bases set up, even though I haven't been attacked yet, which is just typical for me. I mean, the last cu uh, couple times I recorded this, I was getting owned. And that wasn't the reason why I stopped that series. And while well, it didn't even get uploaded. The hell? Two long range scanners, huh? I want some of those. Can I. Aha! Uh -huh, we can see what they have as their base. Light factory, we have barracks, and they have a heavy vehicle factory. Alright. Pretty sure we also get garrisons here. What the hell? ATCW Walker. Hey, yeah. That's fan on, alright. And a Mega Master tank. The oh geez, for a second I thought they were attacking our whatever that planet, this planet here, tarmac. Let's see. The MMT is slow, but is heavily armored and armed with a slowly firing but extremely destructive mega mega master cannon. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Now another thing about this fa uh this mod, fun factoid. There is a lot of Fanon in here. Uh, here we have the uh, Sia Bomber on Armac. Or uh, Amrac, whatever, I'll, I'll just call it Tarmac. Beginning and you know, half this stuff hasn't really been in uh, the Star Wars Galaxy or a canon, so it's Fanon. Or Fanon, I guess, if you want to pronounce it that way. Uh, I'm also going to uh, start getting a fleet together. Where's that Academy Destroyer thing? I want to build one of those. Here it is. I'll build the uh, Flantex thing. I also want to attack something just to... Wow. Okay. 
Heavy factory. Garrison spats. That's great. That's just great. We can get a uh, invasion force together and uh, attack a uh, Jomark or Tengeri, maybe. Now this is also is not a uh, complete mod, so there is uh, some some stuff missing. I almost said stump stuff. What the hell is that stump stuff? So there's like missing and you know uh, there's no planetary info. Is the tactical inf information none? Planetary advantages none. However, there is a planetary like description. New Republic land victory at Garros Four. That's great. Change from warlords to New Republic. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it said. Uh, come on, destroyer. Wow, that builds pretty fast. That Flantex destroyer. I honestly expected it to build about as long as the uh, Viscount. Oh, son of a bitch! You would attack that. God damn it! Or if I can. Yeah. Damn, I would get my heroes over Riate, but there isn't enough time. We have a chaff to get there, and depending on how much. Or how many ships they send my way. Maybe able to live. So we have a strike cruiser. That makes a return. And we have an escort frigate. Or escort carrier frigate. We also have an imperial star destroyer. Two of them actually. And imperial two star destroyer. And I have a...